grew up in New York City. Uh, I'm a, a Queens boy, so I started out in Brooklyn, then ended up in Queens, and um, it was the most beautiful building. I remember uh, as a kid, we would uh, take the elevators and go way up there to the very top, and it was so beautiful. The sky was so clean on the summer nights, and you could actually see on a very clear day three states. You can see obviously New York and uh, New Jersey, obviously that's where we live, and then um, you can see a little bit of Connecticut. And it was such a well-kept building. It was such fun to go up there and see how you know the world was, and we all always enjoyed going there. And I lived in Greenwich Village. Close to the yeah, towers. right next to the towers, right next to NYU, uh, Washington Square Park, West 4th Street. A lot of very famous activities happen around that area. They were they were beautiful. Um, I lived on Thompson Street between Third Street and Bleecker Street, and literally you'd walk outside my building and walk into the middle of the street where the cars drive down, and you look you look south and you can see the two towers. That was my view. You can see them clear as day. Two towers. Well, the Twin Towers before they were hit uh, were a symbol of the United States and its strengths. Uh, uh, and also it was a symbol of the strength of the United Nations. As I thought that it was a joke, to tell you the truth, uh, because I, I felt like somebody was trying to, you know, pull a joke. And I got to work and I turned on the TV and I was, I, I was, uh, I don't know how to put it. Um, I was surprised at what had happened. Like what I'm talking about, it hits you in little droves. It's like it hits you like little by little. Like this is this is this is serious. Like we're watching, we're breaking away from class work to watch this happen. When those buildings got attacked, we saw everything. You can see literally, uh, unfortunately, people jumping out trying to save to save their lives and etc. Um, and the building burning. Um, and at one point, the first tower fell. Total shock. I was at home recovering from a knee surgery and I, I awoke two screams in the living room and it's, I saw it on TV and I absolutely couldn't believe it. I heard the Today Show and they was talking about fire at the World Trade Center and I turned on the TV and there was this big billowing smoke and I heard that a plane had actually hit the tower and I guess just like a lot of people at that time, we thought it was an accident. I stepped at the TV and I thought it was a movie and I saw a plane hit a tower because the volume was down. Um, but then it kept playing again. And when I realized what was happening, as I had one of my uh, soldiers turn the, the volume up and realized that uh, we're being attacked. second plane hit, 
I mean, I knew, and I'm sure everybody knew at that point, that it, it was an act of terrorism. It was a direct assault on our democracy. Then the second tower had been hit, and like, we all knew it wasn't an accident anymore. It was on purpose, and then another another plane had hit the Pentagon, and another one had hit, like, crashed, like, into a field. I knew that it had to be more than just an accident at that point. Um, I think we all assumed at that point that this was an act of terror. Hurt, fear, you almost kind of feel like you want revenge, like, man, you know, I wish I would, was there to stop these people, you know what I mean? To try and help to stop this from happening. The second tower was hit, uh, then we was put on alert. because we didn't know where the next attack may come. We had no TSA before 9-11. We could have taken our families and get up the escalators and sit by the terminals and wait till our uh, you know, the plane takes off. You know, We could easily go into the plane sometimes and make sure that we're seated properly, then exit the plane. You know, it's, it's something that had to happen. It, did, it doesn't bother me to be searched when I go to the airport. It really didn't bother me then. I mean, it, it, it had to happen. I mean, I feel if things were, if they were as, as alert as they are now, compared to then, this may, may have not happened. It was like, there was a collective sadness. Um, there was a collective sadness to, to just life, and then afterwards, life just was different. Like, you know, going to the airport was different. Like, you could just, like, run past and be like, say hi to your mom and dad because they're getting off the plane. Or, you know, the, uh, all the service members that went over to Afghanistan to fight this war uh, because they left their families at home. Uh, some of them lost their lives, others came back, okay? Uh, but it, it was one of those things where, you know what? We had to make sure that America was safe. Cherish every day of your life because life is not promised. You know, you're here today, gone tomorrow, just myself. I can be here today and gone tomorrow. Um, make sure you let the ones that you love know that you love them. Respect your parents. You know, if I could speak to a future generation, respect each other. Re respect each other's difference of opinions. You know, and just, just be willing to listen. Not seeing much enthusiasm or love of country as I once did. I mean, in my day, we all stood for the pledge and we all put our hands over our heart and we all recited the pledge. Um, of course, I know that there's a First Amendment right. You don't have to, but I, I don't think you're practicing your First Amendment right. I just think you're just not doing it. And I can imagine the guys who sacrificed their lives or who gave their, who, who really put their lives on the line for this nation so that you can have that right. Like the first sergeants, the Ron Trestles, the Granadas, you know, the, all these men and women who sacrifice themselves or put themselves on the line, what, what gratitude we are not showing them enough. I would say that uh, we need to remember how we were as a country when this happened. We need to remember how we came together as a country and, and, and worked as one. Uh, I really feel like nowadays we're not doing that. But we need to look back and remember that that's possible to do that, to come together as a country and help each other out.